Hi everyone, it's Lisa Mears here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Shaker cards are one of my favorite types of cards to make, so I'm super excited to share a spring shaker card that I made using the Umbrella Shaker die set from Pretty Pink Posh. So here's a look at what the Umbrella Shaker die set looks like. You have the dies to make the actual umbrella, including the handle. There's also an Easter egg, there's a flower, and there's a heart included in this set. For a lot of my die cutting today, I'll be bringing in the Sherbet Smooth cardstock paper pad. So to make the shaker, I took this die and die cut a piece of teal cardstock, and it gave me the solid background of the umbrella shape. And now I need to cut out a frame. So I'm using this layering die and I am just centering it on the umbrella shape, adding some mint tape and die cutting it. And when that comes out of the die cut machine, you get this frame. And if you look at this up close, you'll see all of the beautiful detailed stitching all around the shape of that umbrella. So I took this die again that cuts out the solid piece of cardstock and die cut a piece of lighter teal cardstock that's going to go in the background of the frame. And I also die cut a piece of acetate. So I want to show you here that you can simply take the top frame with the cutouts and add it directly to the solid shape and just have your umbrella without being a shaker. But since I love to make shaker cards, I'm going to turn this into a shaker. But first I wanna add some depth to my umbrella by adding some ink to the edges. So I'm just taking an ink color that matches the color cardstock and adding ink to the edges of the frame. Next I'm going to add glue behind the umbrella frame and I'm going to add this to the acetate piece that I die cut. And I'm going to add an acrylic block to the top just until the glue dries. And once it dries, I'll go ahead and turn that umbrella piece with the acetate over to the back side. And I'm just adding a thin piece of double-sided adhesive foam tape to the cardstock. Make sure that all of the foam is connected from edge to edge so that your shaker pieces don't fall out. I'm going to add my shaker pieces to the top of the solid piece of light teal cardstock. And the shaker pieces that I'm using is the Pretty Pink Posh Flower Garden Mix. It's the brand new clay confetti that came out with their March release. And I love this mix because it has beautiful, vibrant colored flower pieces mixed with some leaves. And you'll see it close up in just a moment. So I go ahead and remove all of the backing of the foam tape and I add the top piece of my shaker directly to the bottom piece to secure all of those shaker pieces inside. So here's a closer look at the shaker and you can see that beautiful flower garden confetti mix inside. Next, I die cut the umbrella handle out of the same color cardstock, the dark teal and the light teal. So I have the layering piece out of the darker teal and then I have the whole handle out of the lighter teal cardstock. And I just inked up the edges and then I'll add this layering piece to the bottom of the handle. And then I'll go ahead and set this aside for now. Meanwhile, I'm gonna work on my card background. I took a piece of white cardstock and I cut it with a stitched rectangle die. I wanted to go for a very clean and simple look. Nothing too busy because I really wanted just to highlight the umbrella shaker on this card. So all I'm doing is taking some Distress Oxide ink in Kitsch Flamingo and I just inked up the bottom right corner and probably up halfway to the middle of the card. I just want to make sure a little bit of the pink shows above the umbrella. So I didn't cover the entire piece of cardstock, just about half, and left the rest white. I'm going to stamp a sentiment onto this background from the Easter Sentiments stamp set. I'm going to use the sentiment Have a Lovely Day, and I'll stamp it in black ink at the top right hand corner of this panel. I'll set that background aside and I'm going to be using the spring foliage 
die set and I die cut several flowers and some leaves in different color cardstock. So I've got green, a light pink, dark pink, as well as like a yellowish orange color. And I'm just inking up the edges of all of my die cut pieces. So I'm going to use a green ink for the green cardstock for the leaves, and then I'll use some pink inks for the pink flowers and orange ink to ink up the edges of the orange flowers. And that just adds for some nice depth to all of those die cut pieces. The pink cardstock, the, both the light and dark, as well as the orange cardstock is from the scrapbook.com sherbet paper pad. And the green cardstock is from the scrapbook.com floral paper pad. After I ink up all of those die cuts, I'll go ahead and start decorating this card front with all of my die cut pieces, including the umbrella shaker. So the flowers are gonna come out of the umbrella, so my umbrella will be upside down at the bottom right-hand corner of that card panel. So I'll start by positioning all of those leaves, and once I have them where I want them, I'll go ahead and glue all of them down. Next, I'll add the handle of the umbrella right on top of the leaves and then I'll glue down the umbrella. Next, I'll start taking all of the flowers and positioning them on top of the leaves. So just putting them in various spaces to make a beautiful bouquet. Once I've laid them all out, I'll go ahead and start gluing them down. Now I do wanna mention, notice that I did not add centers to any of the flowers. The die set does have dies that you can die cut cardstock to add centers, but instead of doing that, I am going to just add a liquid embellishment to the centers, and it'll be super quick and easy at the end to do that once I have everything glued down. Next, I'll add this to a white A2 size card base. So my card base measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And then after I add that to the card base, I'll go ahead and use my scrapbook.com pops of color, and I'll add drops of the pops of color to the centers of all of my flowers. And this is just the white gloss. Now, once I finish this, I'm going to let this background sit until all of these drops dry. So if you are adding a liquid embellishment, this is the last thing you wanna do to complete your card. So this card will make a beautiful spring card. You can use this for an Easter card. You can use this for a Mother's Day card, even a birthday card. So this die set is pretty versatile. You can use it for many occasions. If you're interested in finding out more about the products that I use today, I will have links to all of the products in the description box of this video and on my blog at lisamearsdesigns.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like to see videos like this and want to see more, make sure you click that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so that you're notified when I release new videos. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day. Bye-bye.